Hello and welcome back to Cube VR. The last time we had our third anniversary, and in the video I talked about a potential new project that I could start. I said that I would like to do some picture arts or pixel arts and maybe a train station. So the pixel art is. Mm, not really that interesting, I think, because it would be just me counting to five over and over and over again. So I think a train station would be better. I can show you how the train station looks. Come on, click. Maybe I should clean up my picture folder at some point. Hmm, where is it? Here it is. So, that's what the train station would look like, more or less. At least as a reference, I would use this. So, some stones with some nicer stones in between. I think this should be possible. Doesn't look so hard. And for the location of this train station, I think it should be the location that I scouted out last time. So I think it should probably be here. I was thinking of making maybe a maybe maybe blah, 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 sorry of I thought of maybe making the train first. Oh my gosh, my brain is still sleeping. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> so, but yeah, building a huge train is one thing, but then covering it with a train station. Mm. On the other hand, if I have the train, I would know how big the train station would be. But then, on the other hand, I can just build a small, tiny little train station and then a huge train. That's okay. Because in Germany, sometimes we have those really tiny train stations that are more like bus stops, like a little shed and the trains. So, hmm. So if I want to make the train as well, then maybe make building the train station in the forest would be a good idea. Hmm. I don't want to cut down the forest though. I could build it here, even though it would be a bit secluded from the rest of the town. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I never thought that it would be so hard to decide. But here, I don't have to cut down trees because this is already nice. Hmm. The train station could connect to the Evangelion. <laughs> and who knows, maybe in the future we will get some kind of transportation for QVR. I mean, it will be far, far in the future. Why are there torches on top of the roof? We can't have this. So don't want the roof to catch fire. Mm. So building it in the mountain like I said last time. Here. Hmm.
Oh, good question. Hmm. You would be closer to the village. But I would also have to cut out a lot from the mountain. Hmm. From the height? Yeah, I would have to cut out a lot. And yeah, just cutting out stuff doesn't always look so good. Like when I did it for the church, I was not so pleased with the backside here. Because this doesn't look so nice. It does now, actually. It's a lot better than before, but... I just noticed that I forgot to add a layer here. Oh no, we can't have this. Sandstone bricks? I'm pretty sure that's... No, they are something else, okay. I have one torch? No, okay. I have 100 torches, eh? Why do I have 100 torches? The hell? I am confused. So, let's see. It was a limestone. Rick? So, some stone and... Oh, I still have 13 limestone bricks here. See, it was the correct one. So... I need some stone. It's raining. No! I don't want to get wet. <laughs> Having weather effects turned on is a good thing. So I think that's enough. Or something like this. So should be enough. With those 50 blocks I should be able to place at least 100 blocks now. I hope it will be enough. Should be, actually. Wait. Let's be a bit smart and just do it like this. Because this way I don't have to place the third row. <laughs> I'm so smart. And the same goes for here. So. And then we have actually made our church a bit better. I never noticed that it was in such an unfinished state. And this one, so... so. Yes. so 
Now I just need to figure out what this block is. It is cobblestone, okay. Was it cobblestone one? Uh, I think there's another one somewhere. Hmm. I have the feeling that the trackpad is not as sensitive as the one of my old controller. Maybe I should test it. Maybe the controller is actually a bit faulty. Then I would have to RMA it. Here, this one. 12 stones, okay. 12 stone. Now in this light lighting, the glowstones actually look really nice. Or the glow tiles, sorry. <laughs> Dear. 12 stone. So, oops. Only got 12 cobblestone out of it. So the yield ratio is 1 to 1. That's not so bad. That's it. So done. Nice. I really like how this looks right now. So back to finding the train station spot. <laughs> Having it here could be good. I would just have to uh, remove quite a lot of this mountain here. So I could just cube paint it away. Hmm. Hmm. And what if I go the other way, build it toward the desert, but I built my Mayan temple there, so, <sighs> hmm, I never thought that this would be the biggest challenge ever. Huh. It would be nice if I could see the train station from up there. Can I actually see? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It's not so easy. And now the lake looks actually really nice with the glass. Oh. <laughs>
Let's go up here. Oops, almost too far. Yeah, from up here I could see the train station. If I build it behind the church. So. Hmm. Would be a bit further away. So, hmm. Yeah, but building it there, I wouldn't see it. So maybe really there. Then I can see it from the observation tower. But then I can't see it from up there, when I look at my town. Hmm. If I build it there, this could work. Can it? So let's... Yeah, I could... Just build it where I placed the wood cabin there, or the actually the what was it? It was supposed to be a, a wood cutter. Turned out to be more like a trading hub for the wood cutter. Let's see. We Yeah, in the end this looks a bit more like trading hub. I can keep this. Maybe I can um increase or expand and make it like a second train station an industrial one for just trading goods like the wood <laughs> so then i guess we build it here now just a question orientation like this this or this way I would tend this way then I would have to make a path maybe from the church and maybe also from the community building so that I make a path this way, over here. So I could connect those two paths with each other. Have a little intersection here and then go to the train station. I think that's a good idea. I could go straight from here, maybe that would be a better idea. Yep. I have to do the preparation work now. Ah. Okay. So. 
So, here, come on. If it goes a bit deeper, that's not a problem. I mean, I could use the hopper shovel. It's a, mid, a bit more precise. That's also okay. So. I'm just collect some dirt and then I can fix all of the stuff that I removed that I didn't want to have removed. So why is my cable pulling so much today? Lately my cable is pulling quite hard, even though I made it a lot easier. Hmm, maybe that's the problem. Since I gave the cable more leeway, it seems to not retract as good as it used to be. Or maybe I'm just a bit more aware of it, for whatever reason. I still have some stone pathways. I do have still some and some dirt. Maybe I should really add a bit more retraction to the pulley. Where is the first one? It's here. Yeah, it doesn't pull at all. Maybe that's why. So if I put a bit more pull here, it should work again. The stone pathway was a native block, if I remember correctly. Blackstone, okay, oops, sorry, flagstone. A lot of dirt and stone, okay. Then I need to collect even more dirt. So. Back to the stone quarry. <laughs> A lot of dirt and a tiny bit of stone. So yesterday I saw a new what not really new but I never saw it before. Uh, Haptic feedback vest, not just the B haptics, which is five hundred dollar, which is pretty okay, but it was the Ovo skin, and it's actually a haptic vest, but not with motors like the B haptics, but with 
electrodes. So you put those little electrodes on your body and then you get electrocuted every time you take damage in the game. You can simulate stuff like stabbing, slashing, punching. Looked pretty interesting. The problem is you have to um, put these electrodes on your body. So yeah, if you sweat a lot then it doesn't really work that well. And if you can't guarantee direct skin contact, they will reduce efficiency, I think. And because I am more on the hairy side, I don't think it would be that cool to shave my belly. <laughs> I mean, I did it for cosplay in the past and it was a hassle. Took forever. And I can't shave my back because I can't see what I'm doing and oh. <laughs> so yeah, sadly that's not for me. And it's also about $500, like the uh, Be Haptic. I would be interested in the Be Haptic, to be honest. It looks interesting. And having Haptic feedback on your body sounds pretty nice. But again, $500. I wish I had this money. But because of my former workplace, I had to invest almost 800 euro just to work there. So mm, I just need to replenish my savings for now so that I can build a new PC next year and maybe a next Valve headset whenever it comes out come on let go <laughs> only got 28 that's why I had so less So two more. So. Let's go. Maybe I should have eaten breakfast before starting recording. Now I am hungry. My tummy is rumbling. It wants to get fat. <laughs> oh. So and with this, the connection between the church and the community house is done. Nice. Let's make it morning again. going to take this crystal so hmm maybe from here this would be a pretty long path
Hier. Hier. Let's see how far we can get with the blocks that I have right now. It seems pretty far. Nice. Oh, I still have some left. So. Come on. So. Oh. Okay, that's it. still not so bad then I will go through here and then we have the train station here hmm having the entrance I'm going this way or this way I think this way would be better because if I make tracks, I can make it easier so that I don't have to cross over the tracks if I want to go to my Evangelion. So I think here would be a good place. As for the height, mm, yeah, I would have to remove a bit of land here. Hmm. But I think this is actually a good, this is the height I'm going to build. So, with this I should remember next time that this was the building height. I could use, do I still have the filler mod? I think it is level or... Uh, terraforming level of block <sighs> iron and glass do I have glass ingots? I can use the cube painter for this. Uh, where was it again? So, yeah, maybe I should make a stone ground. Okay, that means we need a bit more stone. <laughs> then we can make the foundation of the train station already. At some points, I will not make it a one-to-one -one copy again. I like to have my own things in it. Maybe I can remember to fix the pulley system a little bit. Next time. I almost have... 
the triggers always? Yeah, the trigger always were really sensitive, I just noticed. Interesting. <laughs> so you don't have to press the trigger all the way. It's enough to just slightly tap it. You learn new stuff every time. So, by mining all the stones, I also reduce the debris that is on the road that I just made. So right now I'm deleting all the dirt. Ha, ha, ha. Cleaning up without cleaning up. <laughs> Come on, get in the bucket. Nice. I hit my head. Nice, 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 nice. I really like the sound of the pickaxe. It's really satisfying. nice stones uh, someone actually asked if the developer could add a slider for the haptics because he didn't like the controller rumble when crafting stuff or sucking stuff in and to be honest the rumble feedback is not really that intense maybe it's a different thing on mixed reality headsets they are a bit special <laughs> but for the index controller the feedback is really subtle and I like it to be honest so, we have plenty of stone and an empty crystal. Let's, let's put him here. No, uh, here. So, then I would say thanks for watching. I hope you liked this episode. You can tell me what you think about the location of the train station. I can still relocate it, even if it's done. So if you say, no, we have a better location for it, place it somewhere else. Let me know in the comments, then I can consider it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time, and please stay healthy. Bye. I like trains.